cart abandonment is a problem all e-commerce businesses face. And according to Baymard Institute, 70% of online shopping carts are abandoned. Just imagine how much would your revenues increase if you could turn those abandoned carts into sales. Even a tiny fraction of it would make a huge difference. There can be many reasons why people leave your site without purchasing. And fortunately, there are also several solutions to help you minimize this pain point. This quick video will cover our favorite solution for reducing cart abandonment, Exit Intent Pop-Ups. Exit Intent Pop-Ups are displayed right before a customer leaves your store and you can use them to convert abandoning visitors into email or SMS subscribers so you can retarget them at a later stage, encourage customers to finalize a purchase with a time-limited offer and ready-to-use coupon code, or ask abandoning visitors why they are leaving so you can act upon their feedback and optimize your store over time. Before teaching you how to create your own cart abandonment pop-up, let's see one in action. A great example of a company using this method effectively is the French brand Les Petits Prodiges. From their homepage, I'll go ahead and add something to my cart. I'm going to select a deodorant and add it to the cart. Let's go check out any other page and when I try to exit the page, bam, I get a good looking and straightforward pop-up with a time-limited offer that says, here's a special offer for you, get a free bomb for any purchase on our site, with a call to action that applies the coupon code directly to my cart when I click on it. That way, I don't have to worry about memorizing a code. Now let's see how to create your own cart recovery pop-up with Wisepops. Sign up or log in to your Wisepops account and create a pop-up that you want to display when visitors are trying to abandon your website. To save time, use the campaign assistant. Click on Drive Sales and select Cart Abandonment. Then choose a layout that you like. Now from the campaign builder, customize the look and feel and the content of your campaign. For instance, you can change the offer and code displayed in the campaign. I'm going to go for a free shipping offer. You can also add a countdown timer to create a sense of urgency, change the colors and even apply your own custom font using CSS to keep things on brand. Everything can be pretty much customized here. Once you're done with the copy and design of your campaign, head to the display settings. The trigger tab lets you define when to show your pop-up. We selected the exit intent trigger, meaning that the pop-up will show when your visitors intend to leave your site by moving their mouse outside of the screen to exit out or by pressing the back button on mobile. I'll also add a page views delay to make sure that the campaign won't appear too soon during the browsing journey. To find the right timing, you can analyze your customers' journeys and see what the average amount of page views are. This can help you determine when and where most customers are most likely to engage with a pop-up. Your Google Analytics reports can help with that. Then you can set how often a visitor should see this pop-up by adjusting the frequency settings. It's important not to show this type of discount too often, otherwise it won't feel special to your website visitors and they might always expect to get a discount when they go on your store. So I'll go ahead and change that to every six months and stop showing after the visitor has already seen it three times. Then in the pages section, you can select on which specific page or pages you want your pop-up to appear on. Here I'm going to set my campaign to appear only when visitors are trying to leave cart or checkout pages. In the audience tab, uh, you can set who will see your campaign. For this campaign, I'm going to target only returning visitors who have been at least three times on my site so that I target visitors who are most engaged with my store and most likely to engage with this offer. In the behavior section, I'm also going to exclude visitors who have already seen one pop-up during their session as I don't want to spam them with too many pop-ups. And if you're on Shopify or if you're using custom properties, you can also refine your audience based on advanced rules such as cart-related rules. For example, if you already offer free shipping for orders above a certain threshold, 
let's say $50, you might not want to display this offer to people who are already eligible for free shipping as it will not be relevant to them. So I'll set a cart rule to target only people who have a cart value between $20 and $50. Note that you can create multiple campaigns and segment your audience based on the cart value. You'll then be able to target your visitors with a different incentive that's relevant to them when they reach a, th a certain threshold. As an example, you could offer free shipping for orders between $20 and $50, a free product for orders above $50, and maybe a discount for orders above $100. If you're using a cart rule like this one, you could as well go back to your page targeting rules and choose to display the offer on all pages of your site as you might want to target visitors who fill their cart and abandon it no matter from which page. Alright, when you're done, save or publish your campaign. And if you're hesitating between two offers, like should I offer free shipping, a discount or a free product, you can use our A-B testing feature. That way, when you get a significant amount of displays, you'll be able to see which offer works best on your audience by monitoring the click-through rate or CTR. That's it, you're now ready to create your first cart abandonment pop-up. Feel free to comment this video if you have any questions and thanks for watching.